What's up, homie? Well, what we've got here is we're going to play Fallout, but on a survival and a melee build, so I'm dumb. I don't expect to be able to play like any of this, really, mainly because I mean, I've never played the survival mode or the hardest mode whatever here. I haven't even touched it, haven't even looked at it. I did a character that was a melee build, but I, hey, I cheated on that character and did console commands and everything. Um, uh, should we watch this? War. Uh, I don't think we need to watch this. Changes. This is not another comprehensive type thing. This is just seeing what we can do. No. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Well, absolutely. I and think I'm gonna go with a lady character just here. because, right. uh, as it was in New Vegas in three, um, hey, my you have Black Widow that. perk, and that gives you more damage towards towards male enemies. And well, I think I think four did a better job of, you know. Um, Making it so there wasn't so <clears throat> so many. Well, whatever, ah. four did a better job of making more female enemies in the game rather than New Vegas and uh, three did, where basically there wasn't all that much. This game did a lot better of making female enemies, but I still feel I could be I could be totally wrong, but I still feel that um, my beautiful wife. I still feel that there's more male enemies in the game, so you go by going female, you get a, you get a better. Uh, it's it's worthwhile. You get more damage towards people, and all that. Let me just fucking pot going on. Give yourself a nice a nice scar or two. Spend some time in combat ourselves. Not bad. You're not bad at all. <laughs> oh yeah, look at yourself. Um, where where's hair? Just be. Oh well, what are we gonna be? <laughs> this is kind of awkward right away, but there we go. That's good. Um. Oh, there we go. This hair in this game still isn't the best. I, I believe the, uh, the male <clears throat> character has more options. Oh yeah, beautiful. Just... <clears throat> I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Blonde, brunette, purple. It all looks good on you. There we go. I think we're ready. Really, this it doesn't matter. it doesn't really matter at all, does it? Ah, oh, good morning, Mom. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle. Don't forget to get this Slater on, which I probably will. Braxo for all your cleaning needs. I remember I actually clicked on most of the half of these things. Now let's just doodle around until we actually have to, you know, do anything. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Uh, yeah, that's my regular breakfast, though. Looks so. Like the milk got delivered. <laughs> oh, sound like someone. 
Oh, Cosworth. I don't. I don't think we're gonna be using Cosworth all that much. I know we were nervous at first, but you know, um, Cosworth. I don't know. I never really liked Cosworth. I've used Cosworth, but never really been a big fan of him. Uh, I know apparently he has a really good melee attack. He's really good at melee, but mm, I don't. Uh, I never really saw the big people like him, but uh, you know. I'm more of a, uh, a Kate or Piper type of person, but that's just me. I like Nick too. Wait, am I actually supposed to be doing anything? Uh, there we go. Okay. Good morning, Voltec calling. Go on. Nice to find you, ma'am. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I, uh, usually I just skip through all this text. Um, but... Then I'm you know, glad I have the door. No, for the playthrough. For the playthrough! No idea. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> A precious commodity. So I'm not. I'm not the biggest on the um on the pre-war lore. Country, you but have been pre for to me, um, the he's like vault. this guy. Kind of seems like vault he knows what's coming. And uh, go away. Just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information. So you can't make sure that, uh, see here, unforeseen, event of unforeseen. um, but you can pretty much be mean to anybody that's actually like a story mission, and it kind of just makes you do it because, you know, it's the story, so. Now, let's see. I really don't like how they did your, uh, your specials in this game. I think... My favorite one so far was uh, was New Vegas. Or did she? No, it was three. Three had the. Uh... I forget the name of the book, but I had the book. But anyway, onto our uh, onto our build here. We're gonna name ourselves. Yeah, what should we name ourselves? Lots of names to name ourselves. I want Cosworth to say my name, so you know what? We're gonna go with we're gonna go with Orgasmo because I'm mature. But anyway, to our actual uh, special here, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of uh, there we go. We're, we're gonna need a lot of strength because you know melee. I don't want to put it up to ten right away, but we're gonna need a uh, endurance too. I don't think we need all that much vets, but we we're gonna we want we want pretty low intelligence because we're gonna get idiot savant, which will um it'll help it will help. I'm I don't think we need that much luck, but we need a little bit of charisma at least. We can always uh, put more into these stats, which is what I did like about this game is that you can fully max your specials. But, uh, luck, I don't think we need that good of a luck. We need more... We're gonna need more strength for anything. Actually, we're gonna need more endurance because this game is gonna be fucking hard. You know what? I'm, I'm liking this. Let's go. Wonderful. That's everything. This I'm really worried though, cause uh, on being prepared for the can we do this right now? Settings, gameplay, survival. Here we go. This is. I think this is gonna, gonna be a fucking mess. This game is gonna be hard. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean. No prices to uh, but the yeah, there it is. The uh the your special book. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. That's from the th from the third game. It's nice. Nice little nice little reference there. Let's play with our ugly baby. I 
This baby is incredibly fucking ugly. I first time I saw this baby, I was like, this baby's fucking ugly. It is just a terrible looking baby. Look at just ugh, look at that face. Ah, who would who would like that baby? I have a feeling I'm supposed to be doing something else. But... My boy isn't giving his oh. mother any trouble, is he? Hey, okay. <laughs> Why don't you give it a spin? Running into uh, weird little bugs here and there already. It's fantastic. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Great. So, we know we, could, we gotta make pumpkins. Let's get pumpkins instead. It's Halloween. I love Halloween. Sir? Mom? Should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? And here comes the total annihilation of the world. Yes. Spoilers, but eh, yeah, do I really need to so, just really spoil it if you're watching this anyway? Hero, Who knows? Um, no, it's not. I'm saying it's not right now. We seem to have lost contact with what our did he say? Stations. Oh no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York Spooky. and Pennsylvania. My god. Is that Ron Perlman? I don't think it is. Probably, probably not. We need to get to the vault. Now! Let's go! Woo! Let's get on out of here. Of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I'll register Hold on. Hold on. I did this the first time around. It really did get shit out. We gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get off right off the bat. People say this game doesn't look all that good. I think this game looks fantastic, yeah. Yeah, up close, you know, it's not the best, but it's all about the art design. It's all about the art design, and the art di design is fantastic. It looks great. We need to get in. If you're really concerned about, you know, uh, your super close textures, yeah, this is an open world RPG. You gotta give it a little bit of a rest. Say no Call of Duty where you can have shiny graphics all the time, you know? Now keep moving! Like, how can you say this game doesn't? Like, it looks really good! How can you say it doesn't? It's very colorful, it looks like awesome! Almost there! Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! See, that looks awesome too. Oh, and then like the shockwave coming. This game looks fantastic, and it's, and you know I'll argue that I will argue that till the fucking day I die. It looks great. Now, I'm thinking the plan here is to do as many of the quests as I can. This isn't like many a true nerds, uh, you know, YOLO. You only live once, run where I die and I'm done. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna probably die a lot. No need to worry, folks. This game is not very gentle on you right away in the beginning. It's quite hard, and I'm betting we're on a since we're on a survival. This is gonna be quite quite a fucking challenge for me. I generally play the game like. I usually play uh, Fallout or three in New Vegas on you know medium like medium or hard depending on what I'm feeling like it's usually not survival I didn't like survival in New Vegas it just didn't feel um, it just felt a little like not very good it was basically you just need to eat and drink and didn't really add that much follow me or not enough to make it feel like a real survival thing it's more of just the nuisance 
than it was oh, anything, you know, worth this playing. This and, is one of our most advanced facilities. You know, I, I only really did it once. Oh, we'll be going over all that in uh, but I've never done this before. I've never done a survival uh, mode, survival on Fall 4. I've played this game now I have for twice. <laughs> yeah, I know it came out. It came out like a month ago, but yeah, I've, I've played it like twice already. Just step in Excuse here me. and put your vault suit on. Take your time. We've got all day. Yeah, vault suit. The pod will I'm just gonna drink there. Depressurize you but um, head deeper in the vault. Just I have a feeling this wouldn't be. It, it's gonna. I know it's gonna be hard, but I have a feeling it would probably be a lot easier if I mained main like firearms. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going melee. We're going the hard way. I envision a lot, a lot of death deaths in my future. I wouldn't be surprised if I had my ass kicked by the, the first fucking rad roach, you know? But we are gonna find out. We're gonna find out how how hard this is. I've heard that I've heard that it's hard. My my friend played it played a little bit on survival. And he said, like, the, the healing is quite slow, which it does mention it's quite slow, but it takes a while. It does take a while to heal yourself. So, I can't just shove uh, stim packs in my armor in the middle of a firefight. I think I'm going to actually have to, you know, be real, real careful. Okay. Now, let's just not look at this. I can't look at this. Now, nah, we got to look at it. I've got a good friend over on that left there. Um, just, I'm, I'm real wary about... I don't know if I should just be straight up spoiling this for you guys, or if you guys are going to come along for the ride. If you've never seen it before, I'm going to figure that at least some of you have played this this far. But you know, I'm going to be... I'm going to be nice. I never got that line, though. Like, we were supposed to... Be, yeah, I think... I guys, like ah, fuck! I really can't explain much of it yet, cause I wanna, I'm gonna talk about, uh, you know, the game events as they happen. I don't wanna get too spoilery, just in case some of you haven't, <laughs> haven't you know, played very far. We're not gonna get very far in this first thing, but we're gonna see how this goes. You know, how you do. Now we're finally into the actual, starting our actual game. I'm not gonna go around and click on E on everything like this. You can. Organismo has lots of things to say about everything. Um, I'm not gonna be doing that for everything. I've seen this a bunch of times, and it's it's all you know. It's all flavor text. <laughs> What's funny is that like. I don't think you go around. Well, I don't think you actually hit open anything, but that's the door you come in and out of the rest of for the rest of your time. That's uh. So I usually, I usually uh. Well, rather the last uh. The last time I played, I played with um. The console commands and give myself like a million weight just so I could walk around and be a, a mobile workshop but I'm gonna play this legit I'm not gonna cheese this at all and I'm probably gonna regret that I should be cheesing it but fuck it you know oh well at least I'm killing rad roaches one swing giant roaches what the hell now if I remember correctly There is a there's a game here, and I believe this is where you find one of the games. It's just it's just Donkey Kong. It's Donkey Kong. But it's Fallout Donkey Kong is what it is. It's actually harder Fallout Donkey Kongs. I don't remember 
Donkey Kong throwing diagonal barrels at it. We lost already. <coughs> I'm bad. I'm bad at this. I've only played it like once or twice, but yeah, I'm bad. It's especially some bullshit, because I don't remember Donkey Kong throwing barrels like that. Throwing bombs, just in your general direction. No, we're done. <laughs> we're done here. <coughs> I will take this tape, though. I will take this tape. We're just gonna scavenge around for a little bit. Uh, just like for a second here, so I don't there's anything actually in here. Never mind. It's not gonna let me sleep anyway, because it wants me to not, you know, get the hell out of it. it. Wants me to get the hell out of here. Now, zap the zaps will actually hurt you there. They'll kill the rat roaches too. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. You know what? We need. We needed all the XP we can get. Ow, oh, fuck. Yeah, we need. We need all the XP we can get. I gotta. I'm pretty much gotta take. Ah, oh, fuck. We pretty much gotta take idiot savant right away. But free health. Free health in this water fountain. We can't can't be going out there right away. Grab ourselves some stim packs. And let's grab ourselves this gun. Yeah, yeah, baby. Open the evacuate. I'm not gonna be reading all of the uh the uh, terminals either. Get some more ammo here. Now this is where I, if this was New Vegas or 3, I'd take this and use it to repair uh, my other guns, but there's no repairing in this game anymore, which was a very confusing for me right away. But here is the, uh, the, the cryolator. It's a freezing gun. We don't have a master. We don't have master back later for you. yet. Um, I know there is a glitch with dog meat, where you come back here with dog meat and you say, hey, find something. And then he'll he'll get you the cryo later. <coughs> but we're not doing that either. We're not we're not cheats. We ain't no cheating McCheatersons here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna get myself another drink. I got myself a, uh, a frozen surge from Burger King. Sneak damage is probably gonna be very helpful for me. Um, but I'm probably never gonna use it because I just forget. And we got our pit boy. Yeah, just grab that skeleton. Oh yeah. I very distinctly remember three. I remember three saying that like these don't come off your arm once you get them, but clearly, you know, there's been some uh been some retconning because that just straps on and I always thought that was I always thought like not being able to take the pit boy off was fucking like how do you doesn't make sense. It was stu I thought I thought it was stupid. Like how do they expect you to get dressed? Like, change your clothing. We're gonna just doodle around here for a little bit. I think there's nothing left to doodle with, but. I like, how do you how do you wash yourself or change clothes if it's just strapped onto your arm? Be fair, pain in the ass, and I'm glad they, they changed it. So, you know. I don't think. I don't think this getting rid of, like, pulling open the vault is as impactful as it was in, um, 3. And I'm honest, uh, full disclosure, like, 3 is one of my favorite, Fall 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's kind of kind of hard to beat it out. I do, do really, really, really like this game. I think it's worthy of the, like, it's worthy of being called Fallout 4. 
to me it is. Um, it's still a fantastic game, but it's also, to me, not as impactful as 3 was. Like, when you, in 3, when you first, like, get out of that vault in your high cat, and you're just blinded by the light, it happens in here too, but it's, it's just, I don't know, I think 3 did it better. I'm pretty sure we're all good, so Orgasmo is going to wander out into the world. Could have named myself boobies or ass face, but you know, what's the fun in that? I just, I, I heard a complaint that some people say if the, the Vault Dollar Survival Guide, the VDSG, uh, the, the hints at the bottom, the, all the and stuff spoil the game sometimes I've never seen that happen I've only seen it give you like story specific stuff when you actually at that point in the story I've never actually witnessed it spoil anything for me I don't know what anybody's talking about there I I don't know I, that's just a thing I've heard like I said <sighs> but you know now we're into the, the, the world proper See, now you're all blind because uh, you haven't been you been frozen for a couple hundred years, you know. But see, this game still looks fantastic. I wish they had kept with the uh, the fall theme a little bit more, but it's still look at this. It still looks fucking great. Anyway, let's go. Let's go home and find. Yeah, that little tune back there, that's I don't want to set the, I think I believe that is a mix of I don't want to set the world on fire. Eh, yeah. Oh my god. This is a real impulse for me to not, you know, just this isn't immediately left click by. What are you talking about? I but you look distraught. Uh, he got shot in the face. They... They killed him. Oh, Mom, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes. A so distraction I think, um, now is probably a good time to discuss the, uh, the dialogue system, which some people really, really hate. I don't mind it so much. I do, I do like New 3s and New Vegas is better, where it actually shows you what you're going to say, rather than, like, these. I know there's a mod that it, repl it tells you what you're actually going to say, rather than these vague choices. It feels, it does feel very console-y, like, the, made for the D-pad or the buttons or whatever. Rather than, you know, but uh, the dialogue text boxes worked fine. I think this is more of a, uh, uh it's more of just dumbing down. I don't, uh, I don't want to say dumbing down, but it makes it easier for people who got on the, on the Fallout 4 hype train without really playing Fallout. I know there's a lot of people on the hype train, um, because it's Fallout and it's supposed to be big, but it's, uh... God damn it, tell me what's going on. 200 years? Oh, shit, I just lost my train of thought here. Oh, um... A bit over 210. Yeah, I, d I do feel that it's not, uh... Detailed enough. I would like to know what you're saying. And uh, coming up here, I think, after, um... I come up with the how dialogue impacts stuff. Or how your skills, like, yeah. Um... Persuasion. I, d I honestly really dislike how they did this. They used to give you a a, a, a stat percentage, like you actually had a. What's wrong? You could tell if you actually had a good chance or not. And now they just they like as you can see they broke it up into yellow, orange, and uh, red. Which yeah, I get it's simplified, but I think um, the simplification of the dialogue is. A downgrade to this game. It didn't need to be simplified. Um, it, it was better the other way. It really was just better the other way. You could tell what you're gonna say. You actually. Um, I also think that it 
may have to do with how the game is, you know, a voice protagonist now, where it, it wasn't before. So you don't have as much, uh, you don't have as much leeway to be who you want to be, really. Because you can, yeah, you can still be a giant asshole in this game, but like, I, I don't feel like it would be, it's in the constraints of your character being a dude like an asshole, because... Um, like, it just doesn't... F a lot of the times, like, your voices will contradict, like, the, the quest, the, the dialogue options will contradict how I feel the character probably is. Like, you, yeah, you're, you're on a quest to, uh... So, that's to find your son and all that and get revenge. But... Just, I don't know, I don't, I feel like just being a giant douchebag to everybody isn't quite how your character would handle it. But, uh, All right. sure, let's go. Let's go around the neighborhood in here, killing things with Codsworth, but... There's a lot of things to say about this game, what they did did right and did wrong. I feel like they did a lot more right than they did wrong. Um, like, the combat, the combat is way, is way better. I actually found myself, you know, playing this as a, as a first-person shooter rather than a... than using VATS and everything. I still use VATS quite a bit, you're gonna see me use VATS, but I do play this... God damn it, cod. Fucking cod. God damn it. That's still the problem with this game, is that, uh... Followers and AI will, will get in your way a lot. But the con yes, the combat's way better. You can play it. It feels good to play it in, uh... In first person as a first person shooter. I am not so sure about the third. The third person... A lot of the time, it doesn't really work for me. Like, if you're way up close, like, if you're in stuff like this, I don't think it works all that well. I mean, it works. It works just fine, but for me, at least, I don't think it works all that well. Or is all that comfortable to do when you're, like, say, in a room like this, I think it's a lot easier just to, to go first person. I only had a bobby pin. I feel like I should have a bobby pin by now. But also, uh, how does my character know how to pick locks? I can see Nate, the default name for your husband. Hey, Codsworth. Miss Orgasmo. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Orgasmo. Anyway, um. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. Fuck. I feel, yeah, I feel like your husband would know how to pick locks. He was in the army, but you're just still. I'm gonna stop myself here before I think of myself into any trouble. I like these people already. I like uh, sarcasm is really is in most of the dialogue options, and I think it's just a way of being a douchebag while also being nice at the same time and like accepting quests. Anyway, we're gonna head off onto uh, Lex Concord, Lexington. I think it's. Concord, and we're gonna get our ta first taste of uh, the Minutemen. And I will be d doing a lot of the minute. Like, if I keep on doing this, I'm gonna be doing a lot of the Minutemen stuff. I'm gonna do a lot of the quests. I'm even gonna do the Brotherhood quests. But when it comes down to it, I still haven't. Don't know um, who I'm gonna end the game with. But that's that's a long while from now. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and get dog meat. Hey boy. Our first what actual companion. Let's go, you doggy. Go me, and I know there's there's okay, a lot then. of uh, emphasis Let's put on dog them. meat and like trailers and stuff and I really didn't end up using him all that much. Uh he just isn't as good as the other companions for some reason. Well, I mean, not for some reason. He doesn't have a ranged attack is his fucking reason. But he does do cool stuff like grab onto people and, like, hold them down. Let's go dog meat. 
does do cool stuff like that, so you know, can't fault him that much. I just like my human, like the actual voice companions a hell of a lot better. And I believe coming up is going to be our first actual combat with actual humans in this game, and this is... I'm gonna start playing this like, like I normally do when I'm probably gonna get my shit wrecked. I should probably just start slapping on uh, armor and stuff now. Anything, anything that helps, really. There seems to be a bit of an odd audio glitch going on. Oh wow, okay, that does actually- that pistol shot actually did quite a bit on me. This is fucking- oh my god. I feel like we're gonna become drug use drug addicts by the end of this game. What is going on? Maybe it's just me, I don't think so. That sounds like a submachine gun, at least. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do in that. Let's get myself some, uh, some more armor, though. Grab this laser musket. I never really liked the laser muskets. Um... Yeah, I didn't. I never really liked the laser musket. It's too slow for me. Yeah, it's powerful, but it's too slow for me. And so far, this hasn't been too hard. But let's um get our first taste of leveling up. I don't believe I can do idiot savant quite. It's under intelligence, I believe. Here we go. Or is it? Where is it? Is it luck? It's under luck. Idiot Savant, here we go. I need, oh, I need more luck. But yeah, we get three more XP from any action in uh, the lower your intelligence, the uh, greater it is. And good thing we have basically no intelligence. I'm gonna get up luck one so we can rank up real quick. I'm feeling we have to be quite careful though. Jack Nape. I, I always, whenever I play this part, I go, I've gotta tell I played this part a couple times. I was go. I gotta start using Jack Nape in <laughs> in actual, you know, dialogue in real life. But it's also, on the other hand, it's quite fucking stupid. Okay, let's uh, put on this sack hood and equip ourselves some Molotovs. What I think it did do fucking great is a made grenades a separate button that you can just throw with rather than having to um let's just get this already without having to you know go in and select them individual first first guess baby yeah without having to like do it separately um and that's i think that adds a whole lot more I don't know, not depth to the combat, but it makes me actually use um, grenades rather than just having a bajillion of them and never doing anything with them. Oh, that was perfect, dude. Fuck. Oh, uh... We need the most, basically, the most apparel we can get. We 
we need the, we're gonna need the most damage resistance possible since uh, we're gonna be having to get up, you know, up close and dirty with these dudes. But for now, these guys can help themselves while we take a look around and get scavenge. Let's get our first taste of what beating people to death is gonna be like. First, we gotta look, uh, get ourselves a pipe revolver. Let's just beat this person to death. That wasn't too bad, but look at our health. That was like two hits. It was like two hits and now we're already we're already fucked. What the hell oh we're down there. Alright, let's just shoot this dude. Let's see how much health that stim packs do to me. Oh wow, that is slow. Oh man. Oh, ah, cool. We already got to hit another game. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Um, that's gonna be. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. This is going to be hard now that uh, I know how slowly the health regens. We're going to be pretty business. in a bit of predicament. Sorry. Sounds rough. Sounds really rough. Thanks. I want that. You see that bobblehead in the back left? I want that so bad. We're going to go get that right away. Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. <laughs> and it better be good. good. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre war. You might have seen it. Well, <laughs> but I do love how this game goes. Whoop, there we go. Kind of ah, I go wherever the hell I want. Let me go get this bobblehead. Talking a full suit of cherry T45 power armor. Military issue. T-45 armor is not that good, but... I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection oh, those are subtitles. Oh, great. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? I dig. Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one. What is with the subtitles? Suits out of juice. Probably been dry for a Fuck. The, okay. I'm I'll skipping. Help I'm helping out. Um, I already got. Old I already got the fusion core. Um, fusion core is power, power armor. Grade long-term nuclear battery used uh. by the military and some companies way back when. Uh -huh. But we can't get to the damn thing. It, look. We can't get it. Uh. -huh. uh Actually. I already I have already it because I am smart. Well, all right. Let's get something that's not this shit ass uh, pipe revolver. Let's go get ourselves a suit of power armor. Angry. Get our first mm, taste of power armor here. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be using it a lot. T45 uh, is not the best armor in the game. They make it sound pretty cool, but the X01 armor, I believe it's called, is the best one in the game but here we go first taste of power armor baby power armor is great because of course it's armor it's pretty good armor and it raises your carry weight and you take no fall damage so let's grab this son of a bitch Boss, we got somebody up here. kill these motherfuckers baby 
Thought I was gonna up close and personal. Give you that. We don't run these assholes out of town. So far, combat hasn't been too awful. But I know what's coming up, like right now, and I'm not looking forward to that. What's coming up is this! Uh, here's our first Death Claw. So as long as we don't get grabbed by this thing... Like that. Oh, and we're already dead. And we are already dead. Yeah. Great. Okay, this is gonna be a lot fucking harder than I thought. Um, I think we're gonna have to get some medics in here and hit ourselves with a stim pack again. Even though they're so Oh, slow. Wow, that is slow. Uh, I think this is gonna take me a couple tries. Oh, well, the armor is almost always is also broken or very damaged in our left and left arm and right leg. at least take a look and scavenge some more uh, loaded load make sure we got enough ammo here hopefully these guys will be distractions for the death claw. Fuck me, dude. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Fuck, I'm out of ammo, too. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. I don't think death claws can get in here, can they? No. At least we have some respite. Ah, oh, fuck, we just. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did it run away? Did it did it run away? I think it ran away. No, it came back. It's coming back. It's gonna make me go after it, isn't it? So it's not stupid! Oh, can get in here! I can get in here! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh.
I'm gonna use all of my goddamn ammo trying to fucking kill this thing, aren't I? What's going after me? Specifically, there's a dude right there! There's a raider! Kill the raider! And we did it! Holy shit, we fucking did it. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that second fucking run. So do you. Holy shit, I can't believe you fucking... Can't believe we fucking did that. Whew. Let's go scavenge get ourselves some ammo. It was a little hairy there, but overall, I don't think too bad. I don't think we did too bad. We used most of our ammo, and you know, that's for the minigun, but that's uh, it's a little unfortunate. Uh, ooh, another Maltov. I also, while we're at it, I also really like the, uh, the, rev the revamped, uh... I never actually bothered to go down here. Concord Civic Access. I'll keep, keep that out, keep that in mind when we, right when we leave. After I go back and talk to, uh, to Preston Garvey here. But uh, as I was saying, the I do like the revamped uh, inventory system where you can just not have to go into the pause time. You can just pick up stuff and right away. Um, you're gonna see me take damage while doing that a lot. But let's get back. Uh, let's get out our our auto pistol. That was. A pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Gotta be nice this time around, oh. actually, so... Listen, uh... When we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. What is with it? It seems Very like it's... Much, but it's the best way just I Preston and, and friend for their... I've never seen it happen to not. Uh, I didn't do it for the money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being only for themselves. I'm all out of words today. You know, you Shit. Oh, uh. The other minute men, the ones who gave Fuck. I'll, I'll come back to it. I forgot what I was so, gonna say. You should come with us to sanctuary. We could use the help. Yes, we can. Oh, and then we're gonna get our first taste of uh. That's Wonderful. Our first taste of uh, base building and all that. I'm not gonna do that right away. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm more uh, not a huge fan of the base building. I'm glad it doesn't really play a huge part. You can just um, you can just do it as you will. Oh, medics were off, but uh. He's alive. At least, I knew it. at least it works. It's, it's not. It's a little bit rudimentary the base building, but it works at least. It's not too bad. Not clearly. It's definitely not but detrimental, I but I didn't really feel the need to do it. I don't think like it doesn't really give you an incentive to. I think the there's no incentive to build the bases and such unless you. You want to make them all pretty and do that, but there's no uh, there's no real re end game or real ultimate reward. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look. And I don't didn't really feel a need to do it, rather than except for the fact of getting you know item weapon crafting and power armor repair thing there and here and there. But uh, I kind of just kept it down to like. <laughs> And let's get the hell out of here. And I think we're not gonna we're not gonna go to Sanctuary right away. We're gonna head towards Diamond City. 
make our way into the story a at least a little bit. Okay, what am I still doing here? Data. Oh. I'm not going to do that yet. Um, a carryover they did from uh, Skyrim, though, is you can actually have, you know, you can deselect a quest and have multiple going at the same time. It's cool. I like it. I do like it way more than uh, the way that New Vegas and 3 did it, where you could just kind of do one at a time, and you can... I'm probably wrong. I haven't really played... I played New Vegas quite a bit, but I haven't played either of them in a fair bit of time. Oh, nice. But, uh... I don't remember you being... How do I still have bobby pins? I don't remember you being able to like deselect an active quest, so you always had to have something going on, which is not always the best when you're trying to, uh, you know, just explore the world and do whatever. We're almost out of the power core, the fusion core here, so I'm gonna try and squeeze as much out of it as I can, and we're gonna. Since I said I've never been this way, actually, we're gonna go take a little adventure. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think, at least, I've ever been this way. But it'll be interesting to see, I say, I think. There's anything here. Dog meat sees something, I think. Okay, right away I'm seeing Meyer lurks, and I don't. Please don't let this be like a Deathclaw sanctuary or something. What the hell is all of that? Oh, it's just fucking mole rats. Well, I say it's just more, it's just mole rats, but they're probably gonna fuck me up. They're fucking me up right now. I think everything is gonna be a danger. I think this run, everything is gonna be fucking danger. I need to, uh, I need to get myself healed at least a little bit. I'm feeling the game is gonna throw stim packs at me, but I heal so slowly that it's gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, heal before every time before I go into combat which I suppose makes it a tad more realistic or like kind of like the Witcher 2 I, I would say where you like you got a you got a plan you got a plan what the fuck you're doing before you do it which is not really conducive to how I play Fallout where I, where I just barging with my dick out, you know? <laughs> Taking junk, just because I know I'm gonna need it eventually. And I like that they did actually give, like, junk a purpose in this game. Um, well, well I'm not sure if I've explored everything so far, so let's keep on going. Fucking Mirelurks. They're actually a little bit tough in this game. Because their their face area is so small. This is wailing on dog meat. Fucking god damn, dude. Well, we're out of power. Oh, Jesus. I've been feeling this was a bad idea.
This may this is survival melee run. As just one goddamn soft shell Meyer lurk just whew, one soft shell Meyer lurk just fucked me up. This is gonna be a tricky, a tricky time, I bet. And they were out of power armor, we're out of fusion core, so we gotta ditch the power armor. Um, not to worry, because I know we're gonna find a bunch of power armor in the, out in the wasteland. At least I did on my two other runs. I like, I don't know how a survivor is gonna be. Survivor, I have a feeling it's gonna be appropriately is going to be a challenge. Where the hell did I wind up? I actually, fuck. Oh. Not that far away. So, um, let's make our way to Diamond City then. See what we stumble across along the way. Oh, <laughs> we did level up once. Uh, can we go ahead and get Idiot Savant down here? There we go, yes, yes we can. We're gonna need this and we're gonna need a uh, big league so we can do more weapon damage for melee. But I wanna get a, um, Idiot Savant fairly quickly so we can level up quicker. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a uh, there's a situation going down over here. We had a deal. Yep. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that? That's a uh, that's quick save. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, vault girl. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face. Oh, or yeah, it's that's gonna just... me. <laughs> that's it. Turn it back to them. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, wow. Y'all just saw that, right? Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair. What just happened? Fuck, dude. Christ. Oh, fuck me, you guys. This is gonna be something. F Why to take Rad X? Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, what did I do a melee run for? Oh, fuck me, I'm stupid. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. What just happened? Big mistake. Ah, I would fucking just drop her. There we go. Ooh, and our first bobby pin. We're lucky we dropped Wolfgang like right away. Well, guys, um, I think I think right here is a good a good space to stop. Now we've done quite a bit, and we just saw how hard this is gonna be. So we'll we will talk to her later. Bye, guys.